Hello friends, welcome back to Vstudent Blog. Uh, this is a series of EMR Horizon trainings and uh, in this video we will be looking at uh, a dynamic endpoint manager, folder redirect and couple of other things too. So though I have put the heading but uh, we will be looking at other stuff. So let's begin our lab. So uh, <coughs> So here we will be working on this now. So dynamic endpoint manager console we will just open it. So uh, like a dynamic we don't require a dedicated server for dynamic endpoint manager we can install it on any horizon server which exists in your environment. So this is the first thing. So the personalization is like uh, you can personalize the, is the applications and uh, you can create the config files so we'll be working on user environment today here like uh, we already discussed on drive mapping and uh, folder redirect so one of the one of our friend uh, sent me a mail asking for like a question like the users uh, whenever they log off uh, their data on desktop or screen or documents whatever they save uh, whenever they log off uh, the data is getting lost so how to how to fix it that's what his question was so i believe uh, this this video will help help uh, our friend so folder redirect uh, will help uh, help in this case so we need to create a folder redirect settings so you can see the documents downloads music picture videos everything we can redirect them so i will give a name for this folder redirect same will give it or zero one so label I will give the same tag also same okay so here what we need to do is like uh, we need to note down the path first not like this it should be network path profiles just copy this put it here slash percentage username percentage so we we, we, we want to do, uh, like redirect documents downloads desktop favorites all this for all four so we'll copy this and uh, we'll use as a use qualified uh, a fully qualified path slash make sure that you give the correct uh, naming of the folder documents downloads also we'll use the same slash downloads we don't read music or uh, we don't require these three but uh, yeah desktop we need it so same path slash desktop favorites okay so for now we are good so any conditions if you want to give we can give the conditions like which are listed here so we are not going that much in depth if required we'll do a video on this also in uh, upcoming videos so for now uh, these are the settings we want to do and just save it okay and now let's try to log into our uh, We'll just log off this one. Okay, it's provisioning. Okay, fine. 
we'll try to use another user okay uh, so we logged in as vda admin on uh, on uh, one of the vdi so here now we'll create few folders on desktop test one and even on the documents users documents so we'll create some notepad or anything test two and put some type type some information save it so now we we, we have created one folder and one uh, notepad file in my documents and desktop so now we will log off so here thing is when I log off and log in I, what happens is it will delete the VM and uh, I set it like that so if you see here it's getting deleted so it will take some time so so whenever like uh, if you set the pool uh, to like uh, whenever user log off uh, delete VM then obviously whenever user log off it will delete the VM so we in production we can change it to uh, some time and uh, user still not connects the after an hour or something then we can delete it we can set it like that so let me pause the video and uh, so I just logged as VDA admin on, uh, on my laptop previously I was logging logging from my AD server so now we will log in and see whether our, our uh, settings works or not if our DM uh, uh, folder redirect works then uh, our data should exist on the desktop and the documents folders okay so I just logged in and I'm able to see my folder exists here and if I go to my documents folder we need to we need to see that uh, notepad over there it's, it exists and our information is also there in that I believe yes it's there so our settings worked and let's go to this and uh, if you open the user profile home folder home profile uh, you're able to previously we don't have these desktops documents downloads favorites pictures videos now they're all uh, visible here so so if you see here the documents uh, whatever the uh, on your desktop they're they're that are residing here as well as documents also if you see here the test is there so I believe I have answered my our friends uh, solution or our friends question so this is how for a folder direct redirect works and this is a solution for uh, uh, to, to keep the data persistent so about this logon task like uh, we already discussed about this like uh, we, we can create a login or logon task or you can run a script anything like that printer mapping we can do a printer mapping here if you have printers in your environment so privilege evol <coughs> evaluation is like for few applications if you install uh, uh, if you install any application you when user tries to log in it won't allow it allow the user to log in uh, because because of his uh, uh, because of the permissions which he have in that case uh, we can create a like we can we can provide the admin pr privileges to that particular application so that uh, 
whenever user user log into that application uh, though he don't have privileges for admin it will use that admin privilege to log into the uh, like log into the particular application uh, so first of all we need to enable it then just we need to enable it and then we have to give the permissions for the particular application so this is uh, like I, I saw this uh, issue in our production when uh, when application was uh, working fine for us but when user tried to log in it is giving an error so once after we give the we enable the permission administrative privileges here user was able to log in without an issue so registry settings also you can deploy from here so any registry settings um, you need to push to the to the end user VDI you can configure the settings right away and every time user login the registry settings will be deployed shortcuts as we discussed uh, we can create a shortcut of an uh, uh, of an uh, application for no example notepad plus plus you want to create it we need to give the path and icon all stuff which I'm not going to do it but pretty simple just give the target uh, start in uh, run in everything like it's pretty simple to understand and uh, uh, destination desktop click it and obviously you will be able to see whenever you log in a, a notepad plus plus icon will be available on the desktop so yeah anything uh, like any questions come out uh, for this uh, definitely I will I will create some more videos in uh, in future based on the questions asked by our friends so I believe this this uh, video is uh, informative for you guys and uh, Thanks for watching and please do subscribe and like my videos for any suggestions and queries. Please reach out to me on vstudentblog.gmail.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.